In this video today, we're gonna to talk about the GOAT, the greatest to ever do it. Michael Jordan and top five moves from himself that you need to master. Let's take a look. Ask anybody who's ever been around the game of basketball, I guarantee you they'll tell you that Michael Jordan was the greatest to ever do it. Now before we talk about MJ, if you're watching me on YouTube right now, go ahead and click the link in the first line of the description. It's going to send you straight to our website where all you have to do is enter your email address and we'll send you a 100% free workout today straight to that email inbox. Now let's talk about Mike. We're going to go over five moves today that Michael Jordan used as his go-to move or signature move that you can now put into your game. The first one we're gonna go over is the up and under. This allowed Mike to go up and under defenders, big time shot blockers and back in his heyday. So this first one, the up and under, what we're going to do is start on the wing. Now when you do this drill, make sure you use both sides of the court so you're comfortable going both ways. Where I'm gonna start on the right wing. In this drill, you're going to attack hard to the baseline. Remember, go game speed. You won't get anything out of it if you don't go at a game pace. So again, we're gonna to attack towards the baseline. What Mike did so well is when he seen the shot blocker come over, he would pump up to get the defender to rise and leave their feet and go for a shot block. Mike had incredible hang time, and what he did after, he'd bring it right back down, get to the other side, and finish off the glass. Now, if you used your game pace, and imagine there's a defender going for a shot block to try to block your shot, you can master this move as well. Go as fast as you can attack. Don't worry about misses and makes. Really just focus on trying to finish every time and getting this move down so you can put it into your game. Now let's take a look at the Michael Jordan up and under in full speed. Okay, you've seen the up and under. The next move we're going to use is a simple fadeaway from the mid post area. Mike used this when he had smaller guards on him or even slower players that he knew he can get to his fadeaway quicker than the defender could react. So we're gonna again start on the right side. This time we're in the mid post area. All you're going to do is simply throw it out to yourself, catch right into it and go into your fadeaway. If you wanna take it a step further, you can add a simple shimmy move where you catch, fake one way, and go back for your fadeaway jump shot. This will allow you to create separation from that defender to get your shot off. Remember, use that fade to create the extra separation to get your shot off. Use the backboard if you can use it and knock down your jump shot. Really, again, go game pace. So if you catch and you use the shimmy, make sure you go fast. Get the defender off balance so you have enough space to rise up and knock it down. So let's take a look at the MJ fadeaway in full speed.
number three in the five move series from Michael Jordan is going to be his pump fake. Now if you can palm the ball, I would suggest working on the one-handed pump fake. But again, Michael Jordan had a very lethal two-handed as well. Getting defenders to bite on his shot fake, allowing him to get to his pull-up jump shot or all the way to the rim for a spectacular finish. So in this drill, we're simply just gonna start on the wing. Again, if you can palm the ball, practice your one-handed pump fake. If you cannot palm the ball, just work on your two-handed pump fake. Now again, we're going to start on the wing, we're gonna pump fake, and after that, it's all the way to the basket or to a pull-up jump shot. Actually, let's do both. 10 makes from a pull-up and 10 makes for the layup. Again, use both sides of the court so you're comfortable going to your left hand and your right so we have no weakness in our game. Let's take a look at the MJ pump fake in full speed. move in the five move series for Michael Jordan is a simple rocker step. A rocker step is a jab step blow by that will allow you to get by any defender from the perimeter. Again, use both sides of the court when working on this drill so you're comfortable going both ways. So again, I'm going to start on the right wing. A simple rocker step is a jab, tap, tap, and go. So if my feet, I tap, tap, and I go by. Using your feet will allow the defender to kind of bite on what you're going to do and keep them guessing. So again, I'm starting here, tap, tap, and I'm gone. <clears throat> right by the defender. Make sure you really explode out of your you know, scoring position with a three-point line so you can really get by your defender. If you just go half speed, you will not get anywhere with this move. So again, on the rocker step, tap, tap, and you're by your defender in no time. Get all the way to the rim and score it at the basket. So let's take a look at the rocker step in full speed. on the last move of the five move series from Michael Jordan. This is a move that may be very difficult to imitate, but I'll tell you what, if you can get it down, it'll become very useful. We're going to do the switch hand layup that Michael Jordan performed on the Lakers back in the day. Again, we're going to attack from the right side. This time more kind of in the slot area, you know, lane line extended all the way up to the three point line. All we're going to simply do is attack the basket, you're gonna rise up like you're gonna finish with the right hand, and then when you're in midair, you're gonna switch it down to the left and scoop it off the glass for a score. This move might be used when a defender comes over to try to block your shot, so you attack them high and bring it back down to avoid them. Again, this takes a lot of ball control while you're in the air. Concentrate on the finish and put the ball in the basket. So let's take a look at the switch hand layup in midair by Michael Jordan in full speed.
you've seen five moves that MJ uses, go-to moves, it's your turn to get out there and practice them yourself. If you learn from the greatest, you have a chance to become the greatest. Now get out there and put these moves into your game. Now before you do that, I need you to hit that subscribe button right now to join the Think Pro family. And if you're watching me on YouTube right now, go ahead and click the link in the first line of the description. It's gonna send you straight to our website where all you have to do, all you have to do is enter your email address and we'll send you a free workout today directly towards that inbox. Now, get out there and practice the moves that the greatest to ever do it use in his game. And until I see you again, get out there and keep hooping. Oh, I had that. I was going for the MJ.